Hey, what's up YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 11.4 beta 3 directly on device with no computer required. All right, so in my latest video, I showed you guys how to downgrade to iOS 11.4 beta 3 from say an official build of iOS 11.4, iOS 11.4.1, or an iOS 12 beta. So again, this is just incredible news that it is now possible to jailbreak on a currently signed version of iOS. So again, if you guys want to jailbreak, downgrade to this firmware immediately before watching this video. All right, so in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to jailbreak this firmware now that you're running it. Again, all the links you will need to download this software are found on Best Tech Info. So go ahead and navigate to that article and you'll be taken to this site. Now from here, you're just going to click download app and you'll begin to install this profile. You'll just click install and then install and then you can click done up in the top right. And now we can exit to the home screen and you'll see the app is on our home screen. So now we're just going to enter it and we'll wait for this ad to pop up and just go ahead and close out of it when the X appears in the top left. All right, so once we're out of the ad, we're gonna go ahead and navigate to apps in the center and then to tweak box apps right down there. And then you go ahead and scroll down to this updated page. It says Electra 11.3.1 Multipath. And from there, we're just going to click install and install. And then we're just going to navigate to the home screen of our device. As you guys can see, the Electra jailbreak utility will be installing on our device running iOS 11.4 beta 3. If we go ahead and open it, we'll have to trust the developer certificate. We can just head to the settings app, navigate to general, then profiles and device management, or it might just already be there. All you have to do is trust this developer account right here. And now you'll be able to open up the Electra jailbreak app. Then you just tap jailbreak. And in theory, if all goes right on the first attempt, your device will go through all three steps and then restart. And then you'll have to run this application one more time for it to finalize the jailbreak and install Cydia. Now, as you guys will see here in just a second, my very first attempt failed. It says error exploit. Not to fear, all you have to do is just keep trying to jailbreak. Now, the good news is the jailbreak, once you are jailbroken, is incredibly stable. Unfortunately, the exploit used to initially jailbreak and to re-enable the jailbreak is very inconsistent with actually working. Now, Tanner, in a previous video, went over some of the things you can do to increase Electra's success rate on jailbreaking and re-enabling the jailbreak. And to get my iPhone 10 to actually jailbreak on 11.4 beta 3, I had to use some of these tips. So again, with five or six failed attempts, I went ahead and used some of these tips. I went and threw my phone into airplane mode and turned Wi-Fi and Bluetooth off. I also went ahead and installed the tvOS 12 beta profile, as well as I installed my own version of Electra through Cydia Impactor. And since I just set my device up as new, I actually had to go into settings, display and brightness and turn off auto lock so it never locks during the jailbreak process. Now, very lastly, I went ahead and actually installed a second version of the Electra jailbreak one that I manually sideloaded with Cydia Impactor. Again, this has to be version 1.0.3 that just dropped today that includes 11.4 beta support. But from there, with all the prerequisites set in place, I basically just alternated between the version that I downloaded and Tweakbox's version of the Electra Jailbreak app, again, version 1.0.3, to finally get my device to actually jailbreak. As you guys can see, it finally went to stage two out of three and then restarted. Again, this is normal. I was super stoked when this finally happened. But again, with this jailbreak, you will have to run the utility twice for it to actually jailbreak and install Cydia. But again, this is the first step, having it restart your device. And then once it is back up, you'll notice that we can just go into it one more time Again, I really don't remember exactly how many times it took to jailbreak, but it was a lot, guys. Definitely double digits for sure. But I'm just going to let this video play out so you guys can see exactly how long it takes. Again, since my device just restarted after it rebooting, it's going to take up to 35 seconds, I think, before the jailbreak utility can actually run. Again, this is in place to make sure that the exploit will run smoothly and have a higher success rate at actually executing and performing the jailbreak process correctly. So man, after a good probably 30 minutes of trying to get this jailbreak to work, after I just updated my device from iOS 11.1.2 to iOS 11.4 beta 3, I was so stoked at this point in time to finally see it moving to stage 2 out of 3 and actually installing Cydia. Now at this point, I was pretty confident the jailbreak utility was going to run successfully and actually jailbreak my device running iOS 11.4 beta 3.
Again, just a few more seconds here and our device will respring. And as you guys can see, the respring logo actually came up and it didn't restart my device. Another sign indicating that this jailbreak utility was successful, but finally when we scroll over, Cydia is present. As you guys can see, the beta warning just came up proving that it is on a beta software of 11.4. Again, we just have to take our devices out of airplane mode and reload Cydia real fast just so everything pops up. But there it is, guys. There is Cydia on iOS 11.4 beta 3 on the iPhone 10. It is possible to still jailbreak your devices. Again, definitely downgrade from iOS 11.4, the official build 11.4.1 or an iOS 12 beta right now if you intend on jailbreaking. We have no idea how long this signing window will be open for, but it is open right now for the very first time in a very long time. It is possible to downgrade to a version of iOS that can be jailbroken on Apple's latest flagship devices. Anyway guys, it's up to you if you want to upgrade to this software to jailbreak on if say you're on iOS 11 to 11.1.2. I personally did as this was my only device to test and show you guys as this process will only work on the iPhone 7, 7 Plus, 8, 8 Plus, and iPhone 10. Again, Coolstar notified everyone not to upgrade to this if say you're on iOS 11.2 to 11.3.1 as those firmwares are much more stable than an 11.4 beta. Anyway guys, this is a last case resort if you want to jailbreak your devices right now and today. It is now possible and I'm so glad I'm here to report on this news and share it with you guys. Alright guys, so very lastly, I just wanted to show you just in case the version from Tweakbox doesn't work, if you guys need to manually download and install this, I quickly wanted to recover that information just so you guys know how to manually install the Electro Jailbreak Utility with your computer as well. So really all we need to do on our phone for now is just plug it into the computer via your lightning cable. Alright, and so once we're on our computer within iTunes, the only thing we're going to need to download is the Electra 11.3.1 version 1.0.3 again, so it supports the iOS 11.4 betas 1 through 3. Now again, this download link will be available on Best Tech Info, but again, just make sure that your phone is connected to your computer, that you've trusted the connection and all that jazz, and then once you see this page in iTunes, we know we are all good, so we can just go ahead and quit out of iTunes. Now we're going to open up Cydia Impactor right here, and open up on my other display again, but you'll notice all that will show up is your phone right here, and again, just to install this IPA right here onto your phone, all you have to do is drag the IPA file over. Again, enter your Apple ID here and your password, and it will begin signing it to your device. Again, just make sure two-factor authentication is disabled, otherwise you have to do another step. All right, so that is all we need our computer for. I can go ahead and exit out of Impactor and head over to our device. All right, so when we're on our device side of things, you'll now notice when you scroll over to the second page of apps that the Electra icon is right there, meaning the utility has been installed via our computer and not through Tweakbox. If we go ahead and try to open it again, we'll have to trust the developer account, heading back over to the settings app, navigating to general and then navigating down to profiles and device management you will see your own developer ID right here this time if you click on it and just trust it click trust and then head back to the home screen and head back to the Electra app again this is exactly how you install the Electra app via the computer method and Cydia Impactor again like I stated earlier in this video I actually installed both this version as well as the version from Tweakbox and then alternated between the two until it actually worked to jailbreak my device and install Cydia so I hope that little tip helps you guys and I hope you guys manage to successfully jailbreak your devices again it is possible on iOS 11.4 beta 3 again I will just go back to my about page right here and just show you guys I am on iOS 11.4 right there and if I scroll over you guys will see Cydia is present and if I open it Cydia is running again on iOS 11.4 so I hope that little tip helps out like I said I hope you guys managed to get this jailbreak working it is possible on iOS 11.4 beta 3 on the iPhone 10 again this works on the iPhone 7 7 plus 8 8 Plus and iPhone 10 right now. The signing window is still open, so if you guys intend on jailbreaking, downgrade now from iOS 11.4 being the official build, or iOS 11.4.1, or an iOS 12 beta. Again, I highly would suggest not upgrading from iOS 11.2 to 11.3.1 because iOS betas can be rather buggy and unstable, and you'll have a much better jailbreaking experience on an official firmware. That's probably why it took so long for this device to jailbreak. Again, if you're stoked to jailbreak, give this video a huge thumbs up. 
and of course subscribe to stay updated on future breaking news like this. Anyway guys, until next time, this is Tony signing out.